All right. Hey there. <laughs> I'm not sure the mic's working, so I'm okay. just, just, just shout. <laughs> we'll just shout, talk loud. All right, I'm always accused of talking way too loud. I'm super psyched to be here, and thanks to Jamie for the, the, the late-breaking invite. Um, I love community and user group. So back in, I think, 1975, um, the, the, the personal computer age was just starting with the launch of the Altair computer. Um, how many of you were actually around in 1975? Oh, okay, a couple of you, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, Anyway, I was lucky enough to join one of the first, what we called a computer club back then. It was the Northwest Computer Club in Seattle. And it was kind of like this. We had a place to meet, and we'd get together once a month, and we would listen and learn and network and just kind of share our excitement and enthusiasm about this brand new field of personal computing. And from that, those meetings, I met this person who was hired to actually um, run one of the first computer stores in the world, and he said, hey, Jeff, I know that you want to have some access to computers, so why don't we give you kind of a, quote, job at the store, but you can really be there just to play with the computers. Well, the job that I was supposed to have was to take all of the, the books and magazines and literature coming into the store, open them up, and put them on the shelves for the customers to read and buy. But I'm like, wow, this is really interesting stuff, and so I spent most of my time reading it, and as a result, when customers would come in, I knew all about the hardware and the software and the industry. And I was kind of the one that people would gravitate to to ask questions about this brand new, really exciting industry. Uh, despite the fact I was 15 years old at the time, I, I was the one who knew what was going on. And the amazing thing is that that model of dive deep into a subject and then find a lot of the joy and pleasure in explaining it and lighting up people's brains. I pretty much do that same job today way too many years later. But I, I still remember just this value of community and user groups and how just welcoming and friendly and th the fact that people show up because they want to. Like, did anybody's manager insist on your being here today? Nope, okay, awesome. So, uh, in, in fact, so what, one, one quick story. In, I, for years I'd had this great idea of could I, how could I visit a bunch of user groups all at once? And I, I after, Years of thinking about it, I finally found the right time on my calendar, and in 2013, I put out a quick note on the AWS blog, and I said, these are all the cities I'd like to visit in, in a three-week time span. Can we get some user group activity going? And within hours, I had an itinerary that started in Boston, took me to 15 user groups across the country, and I, I got the whole schedule all figured out, and I, I flew to Boston, I rented an SUV, I drove across the entire US, I drove 5,550 miles across the US, spoke at four, either 14 or 15 user groups in three weeks, had an absolute blast, visited a bunch of cities that hadn't had a lot of folks actually come and visit their, their user groups, and it just reinforced for me, this is I don't know, a decade ago, but reinforced for me just the, the value of groups and community, and I, from time to time I still hear from people in the audience as I say, hey, I, it, was, it was so awesome to be there, and I listened, I learned, you lit my brain up a little bit, and uh, as a result, I, I started learning something new, and now I, I did a startup, or I've got certifications, or in one case, it was like I now work for AWS. So one of those great just kind of long-term investments and in just sharing, sharing knowledge and sharing what I do. So happy to be here, looking forward to sitting in the audience and uh, learning just like the, the rest of you. So thanks for having me. Thanks very much. My pleasure.